This video is about Amazon product images and specifically we will be talking how to create pictures of your product from different angles and how to plan the photo shooting in order to depict and show your product from different perspectives. My guest today is Vadim Petrov from Zone Photo Agency. They help Amazon sellers to increase their conversions and sales through images and visual presentation of the product. And Vadim will uh, share his inside agency information, how they plan a different angle photo shooting of the product and why it uh, helps to increase the sales. If you need help with images for your Amazon product listing, don't hesitate to contact Zone Photo and they will be happy to help you. You will find the contact details below in the description of this video. Don't forget to mention Orange Click channel if you reach out to them. And now if you like the content here, don't forget to click like button below this video and subscribe to our channel. Hello, my name is Vadim from Zone Photo, and we help Amazon sellers to increase their sales and conversions by creating listing images that te tell their product and brand story. And in this video, I'm going to share some of our inside information that we actually, you know, apply uh, for Amazon sellers on daily basis here at agency. And specifically in this video, I want to talk about different angles. Uh, so this is one of the rules um, uh, in our agency that we need to show different angles. And what I mean by different angles, I will specify exactly, you know, which angles uh, you need to include. This is something you need to think before actually planning out a product shoot, before contacting or when you're contacting photographer to make sure that you get enough angles of your product and let me explain why this is important. So it's important to understand that online shopping experience is completely, is somehow different, you know, it's different to retail, of course, you're, you know, at computer um, and, but, uh, you know, subconsciously you're still thinking, you know, you're, you're trying to get that experience and answers that you also shop in, uh, you know, when you shop in retail. In this example, if you look at the left image, you see um, a buyer, potential buyer is looking at the both products and she's actually holding them in hands. That's what everyone does, you know, when you go to the shop, uh, you can pick something from the shelf, you can touch it, you can maybe smell it, you can, you know, get a, get a feel for size of it. Uh, you can also read the information that's on the label. And, you know, that's telling you some information that you're looking at. So you have a problem, you see the product and you, you know, you take it in your hands, you examine it, uh, you check, okay, this could be good. This could be not, not good. Uh, you look for some certificates, maybe some reassurance why this is good. Uh, when we compare it to online, so the picture on the right, uh, so we actually missing that interaction feature. We can't take the product from the computer screen and start touching it, start smelling it. Uh, so the online experience, this is how I want you to think uh, for, uh, you know, in, in terms of showing different angles. So angles provide that experience. They, this can emulate the retail experience. It can have, uh, you, you can show you all those little details, you know, it can show you, uh, you know, you holding something in hand. And uh, so the customer looking at the screen can actually connect and feel like they're actually holding this item in the hands. So different uh, uh, angles that I'm gonna show now. Um, but the main uh, uh, takeaway from this slide is, you know, that online has to emulate retail experience. So in our agency, we always make sure that, you know, when we do any kind of shoot for any product, we uh, include these five angles. Um, and number one, we call it 3D. So this is the most common angle. Uh, we call it 3D. Because you know, if you think of cubicle, <laughs> of a cube as a as a shape, uh, usually you would see cube from three sides. There is either front side and top, or it could be you know just two sides. Um, you know, two different sides. Like take any product you and and think about you know cube being around this product. 
and uh, turn the cube that you can see those three sides. So whenever you see three sides, like in this example here, we see the front, we see the top, and we see a little bit of side of this uh, shower squeegee, we call it 3D. And that's a good angle to get a, a general overview of the product, how it looks. It's three-dimensional, which, which is important. Uh, so you can actually get a feel of you know, how, how this product looks in life. The most things we see in life, we see it in three-dimensional space. Uh, then we have this flat lay. And this angle, you know, we only see when we look from specific angle, we only see one side. So if you see something directly at front of you, like in here, we only see the product from top. Um, you know, this it gives a very def uh, defined uh, shape of the product. So you can use this angle to highlight a specific design, uh, you know, or you want to keep your design clean. Uh, so this, this is much more kind of cleaner, better look. Um, flat lay is also used uh, very commonly in what's included images where you just every like flat all the items, uh, you know, rearrange all the items flat and uh, and photograph them from top um, yeah so it's also one of the angles that we usually include in the listings the next thing is very important and that sellers usually forget about this one and when we are identifying potential problems you know we're doing auditing for our clients we're also looking for this angle if they have close-ups or they don't have so if you only have 3d and flat lay which you know, for uh, for some sellers, they might think that's enough. Uh, you actually um, lacking, uh, you know, by showing a close up, you um, what you're doing. So you're actually giving a buyer a chance to have a closer look. So again, coming back to retail experience, where you can take something uh, in hand and you look at it up close to see the details. So that's what we're providing here. We're giving this opportunity to see the quality. And, and this is very good shot to actually show the quality, the material, uh, maybe some fine details. And uh, it makes product look more expensive usually. It's like a slow-mo shot in a video. Every slow-mo shot looks very cool. So the same uh, as close-ups. Then we also have a hand shot. And that's again, what I mentioned uh, in retail experience, you take something in hand, um, you know, you touch it and by actually showing a hand shot of a hand holding an item, you again, stimulating the brain of someone looking at this image of thinking, okay, if I would, you know, <laughs> hold, hold, if I would hold this in hand, this is how it would look. And they almost can sometimes feel the way, it, you know, the way it feels to hold it in hand. And this is also a very great shot uh, for dimensions. Uh, it's uh, very common that, you know, looking on, on internet, uh, you know, you're browsing different products and you might, you know, your conception of the size of, of the product can be uh, different to what it actually is. And handshots is, is always a good angle to choose if you really want to highlight, uh, you know, the dimensions of your product. Of course, if it fits in your hand. And then also the fifth type, which we call it lifestyle. And that's actually product in use. Someone, you know, using a product showing, you know, how it works. And that's actually, you know, stimulating the brain of thinking, okay, imagination of uh, stimulating imagination of how, uh, you know, you would uh, see, how would, would you use a product? How would someone use it? And, uh, you know, lifestyle, you can even talk further. Lifestyle can be, you can be lifestyle close-up, can be lifestyle flat lay, lifestyle hand shot. Um, but just want you to think of these five uh, uh, angles. And I will show you some examples of, of a listing example of, uh, you know, how it could look all together. Um, so this is uh, one of the listings that we did for the client. And, uh, it features variety of angles. So let me show you what I mean. So first image we see flat lay, uh, then we go, we see some, you know, those fine details. We see a close-up 3D. Then again, we have close-up, 
uh, in 3D, then there is a flat layer, we see lifestyle. But then we come into handshot of someone touching the material. And we chose this angle, uh, you know, for this specific image because we're talking about silicone and we're talking about it feels soft on the outside and grippy on the inside. So by also explaining how it feels and showing hands touching it, we enticing those, you know, subconscious mind of actually someone you know feeling how it feels with the help of the image and then we have other angles 3d flat lay you know flat lay side shots uh, and also by keeping it uh, always changing the angles you know not showing the same angle uh, twice uh, is also increasing retention of customers actually uh, buyers spending more time on your listing uh, more time analyzing what's what's good what's bad about uh, the product and when yeah and that's all to simulate a shopping experience uh, and that's how it looks uh, when we talk about changing uh, the images if you just look at it from from this point so i'm just going to switch from this to this so every time i change the image it's something new and enticing and it's stimulating it just makes you think you just held it in hand then you kind of put it on your on your table here and then you come back to these images just and it's it definitely keeps it more interesting for for the buyers and it's more enjoyable and pleasant shopping experience so thank you that's um uh that's the end of this video i hope you find found it helpful you can Contact us uh, at yourzonephoto.gmail.com if you have any further questions on, or you can find me on Facebook. Thank you very much for your time. If you learned something uh, interesting in this video, don't forget to click like button below. And uh, if you need help with Amazon product listing images, you will uh, uh, find the contacts of Zone Photo Agency below in the description of this video. Don't forget to mention Orange Click when you reach out to them. And now I would like to invite you to watch the playlist of different videos we recorded on our channel about Amazon product images and how to increase sales by improving them.